good afternoon students so in last lecture we all uh, already covered the topic of biofertilizer so today we are going to discuss about the biological control of plant as well so first of all what is biological control so biological control means uh, the control of pathogens uh, pathogens uh, which con uh, which cause a disease in plants so these type of pathogens can be controlled by biological entity so use of an organisms or uh, the group of organisms to control the pathogens is referred to as biological control agents so this photograph shows the different biological control agents which can go which can control the growth of uh, any plant pathogens so first in the first photograph there is pseudomonas so pseudomonas is a bacteria which control the uh, major plant pathogens and next is trichoderma so trichoderma is a fungi, fungal biological plant uh, control uh, agents so these fungi uh, these uh, trichoderma is also control a different type of pathogens next is uh, arboscular mycorrhizal fungi so uh, this uh, mycorrhizal fungi is also uh, acts as a biological control to different uh, plant pathogens and next is azotobacter azotobacter is a gram negative bacteria and these azotobacter is also uh, used as a biological control agent for the different uh, pathogens so why the need of this biological control uh, agent is required because in the uh, as you know in the uh, recent years uh, about in the year 1975 after 1975 there is a huge uh, uh, use of uh, these chemical fertilizers uh, for the uh, enhance or increase the yield of uh, crops but these uh, chemical fertilizers continuously used in the agriculture system of India so these uh, chemical fertilizer uh, uh, have some harmful or some side effect on the soil and environment as well as the on the human society because these chemical fertilizer they, uh, they inhibit the growth of uh, microflora as well as microfauna in the soil so that's why the, uh, there is a uh, need of a new technology for the uh, soil environment uh, so which uh, uh, alternate of these uh, chemical fertilizers so there is uh, alternate we have alternate that biological control agent so these biological control agents can replace the chemical fertilizer which are which is already used in our agriculture system so biological control agents are the eco-friendly technique so these type of uh, some microbes like bacteria fungi they are able to enhance the yield of the crop as well as they can also control the different pathogens which are uh, the major pathogens and they are causing different type of diseases in the plants so uh, so what are the source of these biological control agents so we can uh, isolate these type of uh, biocontrol agents from the soil from the roots of plant decaying organic matter decaying wood and other form of plant organic matter so these photograph shows from where we can isolate or we can isolate or characterize the different biological control agents so this photograph shows there are a different type of biological control agents suppose there is fungi so 86 percent of uh, fungi uh, different genera of fungi used as a biological control agents and for 10 percent of bacterial genera they can be used as a biological control agents for the different pathogens and mites only two percent of mites can also be used as a biological control for the different plant pathogens so in this photograph you can see that the trichoderma as we already discussed about the trichoderma trichoderma is a fungi and this trichoderma is used as a biocontrol agent so uh, in this photograph you can see that this trichoderma can um, produce or can act as the different mechanism to control the uh, disease causing organisms so like uh, enzyme production so this trichoderma uh, uh, used to, to produce the different enzymes uh, lytic enzymes these lytic enzymes can control the growth of the uh, pathogens and different antibiotics are also produced by trichoderma and this mycoparastism mycoparastism is very important because in this mycoparastism there is uh, uh, the the, paras the parasite is parasitized by the other biocontrol agents so that, that is the mycoparasitism 
SAR means systemic acquired resistance. So this trichoderma uh, can also uh, accelerate or in induce the systemic acquired resistance in the plants. So competition, these uh, trichoderma is also compete with the pathogens in the rhizospheric region of the soil. Rhizosphere is the region, uh, the region of the roots nearby the soil. And growth promotion, these trichoderma also produce some growth uh, molecules or growth regulators. So they also enhance the growth of plants. So it is also an effective antagonist. Means uh, the, this, uh, this trichoderma control the uh, different, uh, uh, different activities of the uh, plant pathogens. And it is also a rapid substrate colonization. Colonization means uh, this trichoderma is a fast grower uh, fungi and their mass production in the laboratory is very uh, useful. So next, uh, what are the desirable characteristics uh, should have in the biological control agents? So first of all, they are host specific. So biocontrol agents uh, must be host specific and they are parasitism uh, always be lethal. Their parasitism is always be, uh, should be lethal and they are uh, easy for their mass production. So it should be uh, the uh, main characteristics in the biocontrol agents. So uh, the other characteristics, it should be uh, eco-friendly as well as it should not uh, cause any harmful effect on the soil or the shelf life of uh, this biocontrol agents should be uh, about or at least one year. So there is different type of microbial uh, activities or different type of microbial interactions take place in the soil or in the rhizospheric region. So there is mutualism, commensalism, antagonism, competition, uh, parasitism, predation, neutralism and protocooperation. So these are the different interactions uh, which is take place in the uh, living uh, microbes in the rhizospheric region or uh, you can see, uh, say that uh, the interaction between the uh, biocontrol agents or, uh, or the plant pathogens. So these are the different interactions. Some interactions are positive or some interactions are negative. So in case of positive, there is the benefit of the two uh, partners and in case of this uh, negative interaction, there is uh, the harm on the plant pathogens. So in this table, there is a list of uh, or there is a different mechanism of these biocontrol agents against the plant pathogens. So in the first there is direct antagonism. So under direct antagonism there is hyperparasitism or there is predation. So these are the different examples of uh, the direct antagonism which is take place uh, in between the pathogens or the uh, biocontrol agents. So in the second mechanism there is mixed path antagonism. So in under mixed path antagonism there is antibiotic and uh, production of antibiotic, lytic enzymes and uh, different unregulated waste products or physical and chemical interference is also observed uh, under this mixed path uh, antagonism and in direct antagonism there is a competition or the induction of host resistance. So these are the uh, different examples of the uh, these uh, different mechanisms which which is uh, going to uh, under the uh, biocontrol uh, activities. So in direct antagonism, in this photograph you can uh, see that there is a uh, trichoderma or pythium. There is a association uh, or uh, the between the trichoderma or pythium. Trichoderma is a biocontrol agents or pythium is a uh, plant pathogens which, co which cause the wilt disease which can cause the built disease in the plants. So hyperparasitism means when the uh, parasite is parasitized by the uh, other uh, organisms. So in case of this uh, interaction, there is uh, mycoparasitism means the, uh, the one fun fungal parasite is parasitized by the another fungal. So in this case, there is trichoderma is acts as a biological control agent and this pythium is acts as a uh, pathogen. So there is a uh, 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 use uh, control of this uh, pythium uh, fungus with the, uh, this uh, trichoderma. So next is mycoparasitism. So mycoparasitism means when there is a, a interaction between the uh, uh, or one um, fungal uh, one fungus uh, spores trichoderma and another is a pathogen. So in this photograph you can see that there is a trichoderma hergianum and this is rhizotonia solani. So rhizotonia solani as a 
uh, pathogens and uh, this trichoderma hergianum is acts as a uh, biopathogens. So in this photograph you can see that there is a coiling of the parasite, fungal parasite with this bi uh, biocontrol agents. So trichoderma hergianum and trichoderma hematum they were uh, mycoparasites of both sclerotium rolofsite and rhizoctonia solini. So sclerotium rolofsite and rhizoctonia solini they are the major plant pathogens into the different crops. So next is predation. So predation means there is a complete uh, destruction or, uh, of the pathogens with the biocontrol agents. So in this photograph you can see that there is a uh, round worm uh, uh, parasite uh, on the different uh, plants or this parasite is controlled by this hyphae. So in this uh, there is an example that Trichoderma is uh, used uh, to control the different nematodes also in the different uh, uh, these plants. So nematodes are the, also the major uh, disease causing pathogens in the different crops. So next is there is mixed path antagonism. So there is antibiotic mediated separation. So uh, antibiotic are, are the uh, microbial toxins which are produced by the biological control agents and these uh, antibiotics uh, control the growth of uh, different uh, pathogens. So in this photograph you can see that there is a, uh, in this uh, well there is a uh, uh, supernatant of these biological control agents and these are the uh, fungal pathogens. So this is the in vitro, in vitro study of this uh, biocontrol agents with the uh, uh, antibiotics. So in this photograph, this, there are two plates, this is control and this is the treat, treatment. So in this, uh, in, there is, uh, you can see that there is a, a the supernatant of the biological control agents. So in this plate, you can see that there is a control of the growth of pathogens. It means there is a, some uh, antibiotic which is produced by biological uh, agents or the, the, to control the growth of pathogens. So this is a, a control. So control means there is no uh, supernatant or any type of uh, this uh, biocontrol agent is there. So there is a full growth of the these fungal pathogens. So it means the antibiotics are the compounds which sometimes uh, control the growth of the plant pathogens. So in this photograph there is the, the this uh, gliotoxins which is uh, produced by the trichoderma virens and this uh, this glyco uh, gly gliotoxins is used to control the different plant pathogens. So in this table uh, there is a different uh, list of antibiotics which is produced by different uh, biological control agents and they can control the different uh, diseases in the plants. Like first there is a antibiotic bacillomycin D which is produced by bacillus subtilis uh, A195 strain and with this uh, antibiotic control the target pathogen of aspergillus flavors and this aspergillus flavors uh, cause the aflatoxins contamination in different uh, crops like there is another antibiotic bacillomycin D and this bacillomycin D is produced by bacillus amylophacins and this uh, antibiotic control the growth of fusarium mugglisporum this uh, pathogen is the, uh, the responsible causal organism of wilt disease Next is xantho, uh, uh, xanthobacin A. This uh, antibiotic is produced by this lysobacter uh, strain number SBK88 and this uh, uh, antibiotic controls the growth of this aphelomyces uh, coccidoides and this is the causal organism of damping of disease. This damping of disease is also the major uh, concern of, in the nursery, uh, nursery disease. And next is gliotoxins. This antibiotic is produced by trichoderma virens, and this trichod uh, this antibiotic is uh, control the growth of rhizoctonia solani. So rhizoctonia solani is the responsible uh, pathogen uh, for the root rots in the different uh, crops. Next is uh, myco uh, sub uh, subtilin. This antibiotic is produced by Bacillus subtilis. Uh, the strain number is BBG100. And this antibiotic is control the growth of uh, Pythium affinidermatum. This Pythium affinidermatum is the responsible pathogen for the damping of. Damping of is the major disease in the nursery crops.
So next is the volatile compounds. So different uh, uh, biological control units produce the different volatile compounds like uh, ammonia. So ammonia is also uh, used as a uh, biocontrol uh, molecules. So in this uh, photograph you can see that there is a, color, a change of color from yellow to brown. So uh, here is the dark brown color. It means this isolate produces uh, more ammonia. So the, uh, the Enterobacter cloacae, which is a biocontrol agent, and this Enterobacter cloacae produce the ammonia in the uh, large quantity. And this uh, ammonia control the growth of pythium, aldimum, diatomia solum, and verticillium dehelia. So these are the different major plant pathogens for the different crops. So next is lytic enzymes. As we already discussed, that the lytic enzymes uh, are produced by different. Uh, uh, biocontrol agents. So these lytic enzymes can degrade or can decompose the cell wall of the uh, pathogens. So these lytic enzymes is also sometimes uh, uh, helpful in the control of different pathogens. So uh, different biological control agents produce different uh, lytic enzymes like uh, chitinase, protease, cellulase or hemicellulose, hemicellulose. So these type of lytic enzymes uh, co uh, control the growth of these plant pathogens. So next, in this photograph, you can see that um, there is a production of uh, protease enzymes by this uh, lysobacter or myxobacteria, which is produced uh, the large amount of uh, this protease enzymes. So in this photograph, there is a activity uh, shown in in vitro conditions uh, of the protease enzymes. So there is a plate. In this plate, the, this plate is embedded with uh, skin milk in the nutrient agar, and uh, here is a different zonation produced by these uh, supernatant of the uh, these bacteria like, like lysobacter and myxobacteria. So it means these uh, bacteria produce the different uh, uh, concentration of these protease enzymes and uh, so protease uh, enzyme uh, is uh, responsible for the degradation of the protein part of the uh, cell wall of different uh, pathogens like fungal pathogens as well as the bacterial pathogens. So there is competition also the this is the also the mechanism of biocontrol activity. So competition means there is a competition of uh, biocontrol agents with the pathogens for the uh, different uh, molecules. So in, in this photograph you can see that this photograph shows sideropod production uh, by the uh, biocontrol uh, bacteria. So in this photograph there is a generation uh, is uh, appeared after the inoculation of the biocontrol supernatant into these wells. It means these bacteria, uh, biocontrol bacteria, uh, produce the siderophore. So what is siderophore? Siderophore are the iron chelating compounds. So they chelate the irons from the rhizosphere uh, of the uh, plant. So in this uh, rhizospheric region, there is a competition between the uh, biocontrol agents and the pathogens. So with the production of these siderophores, so these siderophores, uh, what is the role of these siderophores in the biocontrol activity? So uh, due to production of these siderophores in the rhizospheric region, so these um, siderophores uh, make the, because they chelate all the iron present in the uh, environment, so it makes the iron deficient environment in the rhizosphere. So due to this iron deficient environment, because this iron is required for the growth of uh, biocontrol uh, agent as well as the uh, pathogens. So there is the deficient environment for the pathogens uh, to iron. So due to this iron deficiency, uh, the pathogens uh, sometimes suppress or uh, 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 to control their growth. So these are the list of different bacteria, biocontrol bacteria like Pseudomonas fluorescence and uh, the bacillus subtilis, they are responsible to produce the siderophores. So there is induction of host resistance. So some biocontrol agents also induce the uh, resistance uh, into the plants against different pathogens. So what is the mechanism? So in this photograph you can see that there is a systemic acquired resistance and induced systemic resistance. So like PGPR or different uh, biocontrol agents, these um, when these uh, agents inoculate into the uh, rhizospheric region of the soil, so these uh, um, 
bacteria can move uh, from uh, their root region to the uh, upper part of the plant. So due to the presence of these bacteria into the plant uh, body, so they um, induce the different type of resistance against the uh, pathogens. So next is induction of host resistance. So this is indu uh, induced systemic resistance. So it is mediated by jasmonic acid or ethylene. When this jasmonic acid or ethylene is present in the uh, rhizospheric region or root zone uh, of the plant, so it induces the uh, induced systemic resistance in the plant for the different type of pathogens. So next is plant growth motions. So this uh, is the very important uh, uh, on the biocontrol activity because these biocontrol agents uh, also and promote the growth of uh, plants by different uh, ways like they are uh, produce different plant growth regulators like auxin, zimbrin, cytokines these are the uh, growth hormones so these uh, growth hormones are responsible for the growth of uh, plants so these type of growth uh, regulators or hormones are also produced by these biocontrol uh, agents so these biocontrol agents are sometimes also produce different regulators or different uh, stimulants which are uh, essential for the growth of uh, plant so th this is also uh, promote the plant growth so in this photograph there is uh, show the mechanism of bio uh, biological control activity so suppose this is the biocontrol uh, agent so these biocontrol agents sometimes produce lytic enzymes so as we already discussed that these lytic enzymes uh, degrade or decompose the uh, specific material present in the cell wall so these uh, uh, biocontrol agents also uh, produce antibiotic so these antibiotics also inhibit or sometimes kill the growth of pathogens so th they are also uh, in responsible for the hyperparasitism hyperparasitism means the, when the parasite is parasitized by the other parasite so that process is hyperparasitism so the, the, there is also cellular reproduction by the different biocontrol agents especially pseudomonas uh, fluorescence or bacillus subtilis and there is a competition between the uh, nutrients uh, for the uh, these pathogens so these, these photographs show the different uh, type of uh, activities which is uh, 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 control the uh, attack of the different pathogens into the plant so there is case study there is wind, uh, wind uh, link uh, scientist in 1932 that this scientist was proposed that this trichoderma uh, control the growth of this rhizoctonia solani. So it means there is a um, uh, biocontrol agents, it trichoderma acts as a biocontrol agents. So their studies demonstrated that the trichoderma control the rhizoctonia solani. So this uh, type of studies is a, uh, shows the biocontrol activity. So in, uh, in the next study there is Hovel and uh, Stephen that in 1905 they also uh, shows that the trichoderma virens that produce the glyovirin uh, antibiotic this antibiotic inhibit the growth of pythium ultimum and phytophthora uh, fungi so these are the two different pathogens of the plants so this, these are the case studies of, on the biological control activity so after that there is a uh, panel level at all in 19, uh, 1994 so they demonstrate that this agrobacterium uh, radiobacter uh, k84 control the growth of this uh, agrobacterium tumefaciens so these uh, tumefaciens uh, species uh, produce the grown, uh, different type of uh, root of the uh, these uh, different plants so this study showed that this agrobacterium radiobacter uh, uh, strain number K84 uh, control the growth of these uh, agrobacterium tumefaciens. So in this photograph you can see that there is a, a fungal pathogens and there is a biocontrol agents. So this is the in vitro studies. So these in vitro studies proved that this biocontrol activity uh, is always in, into the rhizospheric region of the roots. So this is the growth of biocontrol agents and this is the pathogens. So it, it, you can see that there is a stop of or inhibit the growth of this uh, pathogen against the biocontrol agents. So it means there is a, uh, always the biocontrol activity um, is observed in the rhizospheric region. So this uh, uh, 
diagram shows that there is an impact of organic farming on the biodiversity. So it means the this uh, organic farming always uh, boost or enhance the growth of different microflora as well as different microfauna, macrofauna into the uh, soil environment. So there is a list of biocontrol uh, products which is already available in the market. So first uh, like uh, there is a biocontrol agents, so agrobacterium radiobacter, strain number K84. So the product name is Galtrol. So this is the uh, product which is uh, responsible to control the growth of agrobacterium tumefaciens and this uh, product can be uh, used uh, uh, on the different ornamentals, fruits and nuts crops. And this, uh, the manufacture of this product from the Edge Biochem in USA. Next is Bacillus Subtilus product. So the product uh, name is GB34. So this product, this type of biocontrol uh, lens is responsible to control the growth of Rhizochromia or Fusarium. And uh, this product is uh, used uh, on the soybean crops or different legumes crops. And the, the, the product, uh, manufacturer of this product is uh, Gustafon uh, USA. Uh, and next is like Pseudomonas fluorescence. And, and this is available in the market under the name of frost ban and this is uh, the tar uh, target organisms which is controlled by this frost ban uh, bio control uh, product and these can be used uh, on the fruit crops or different uh, solvency crops like tomato and potato and uh, this is produced by these plant health technologies and these are other another uh, Biocontrol product which are already available in the market, and these and they, there is the manufacture list of these biocontrol agents. So, the, the, there is a list of biocontrol agents available in India. And so, there is Antagon TV, this is the biocontrol trichoderma viridi, and next is Biocon, this is uh, the biocontrol of uh, this trichoderma viridi. Next is Bioderma, so Bioderma is the bioagent of trichoderma viridi plus trichoderma herziana. Next is Ecofit. This is the product of this trichoderma viridi. Next is TNAU. Talc. This is a talc based formulation. It is a carrier based, basically carrier based formulation. And this is the uh, biocontrol agent of trichoderma viridi. This photograph shows the different products which are available in the Indian market. So if uh, there is, um, you want to commercialize your uh, biocontrol agents, so there are different steps. Uh, to, uh, to follow these different uh, steps, you can commercialize your biocontrol products. First of all, uh, you, you have to isolate the microorganism or biocontrol agents from the natural uh, ecosystem or especially from the soil. After that, uh, you have to study in vitro uh, or some uh, glass uh, house uh, conditions. So after that, you have to test your uh, biocontrol agents into the field condition. So after field conditions testing, there is mass production in the laboratory. After mass production, there is production of preparation of formulation, and whether it is liquid-based formulation or uh, carrier-based or solid formulations. So after formulation, there is delivery of that uh, formulations. After delivery, there is uh, you, you have to check the compatibility between the biocontrol agents, and finally uh, you have to register, uh, register and release of your product into the market. So these are the different steps you have to follow if you want to commercialize your biocontrol agents. These are the different methods to apply this biofertilizer or these biocontrol agents into the delivery of soil. So there is soil application, seed coating, and floral application, and the wound dressing. So in soil application, in this photograph, you can see that if there is a solid or carrier-based biocontrol agent, so you can inoculate these uh, uh, biocontrol uh, formulations uh, around the uh, this uh, rhizospheric region or root region of the plants. So trichoderma and this uh, gly uh, gliogladium, these are the important uh, mycoparasitisms or observed uh, under these uh, biocontrol activities. So the trichoderma uh, biocontrol uh, these formulations you can uh, apply around the, uh, these trees uh, of the different crops. So next is seed coating. So the seed coating is also the methods to apply these uh, biocontrol uh, on uh, agents on the seed. So in this photograph, first of all, uh, we have to prepare the liquid formulations or sometimes solid formulation of uh, the biocontrol agents. And after that, uh, we, we have to put these 
different seeds uh, on the these uh, formulations of biocontrol uh, agents. So in this photograph, uh, there is a uh, idea how to mix these uh, seeds with these uh, um, uh, biocontrol uh, formulations. So in this photograph, there is uh, the uh, the, these are the seeds and these seeds are um, separate or the bioformulations is separate on these uh, seeds. So this is the good methods uh, for the application of these biocontrol agents. So next is foliar supply. So there is in this photograph you can see that this is the methods to apply these biocontrol agents on the different crops. So in the foliar uh, supply, the, like pseudomonas fluorescence is generally used uh, as a foliar supply uh, on the different stages of the crops like before uh, flowering, after flowering or in the seedling stage. So th there is um, different um, provisions to apply uh, or to separate the, these biocontrol agents on the different crops. So there is seedling uh, uh, stage, after that there is a good growth stage and after the flowering stage. So there is uh, the provision or there is a uh, already uh, the provisions to apply these uh, biocontrol agents on the different plants by these foliar supply applications. So next is uh, worm dressings. So this is also the methods to apply biocontrol agents on the plants. So in this photograph, uh, if there is a bound or there is an injury into the plant, so on that injury, you can uh, paste the, the uh, biocontrol agents on that injury part or the bound part. So this uh, paste uh, is uh, prevent the entry of different pathogens into the uh, um, body of the plant. So bound tracing is also uh, the methods to apply the biocontrol agents. So next is uh, there is a different um, uh, substrate or different uh, substances which are uh, used for the to produ produce the carrier based formulation of different bi biocontrol agents. So th this is the photograph of uh, like uh, uh, FYM or choir pick, groundnut shell, wheat or wheat bran or wheat straw. These are the uh, cheap carriers uh, which are uh, used to um, produce the bio, uh, these carrier based formulations of the biocontrol agents. And these are the some uh, inorganic carriers like tar powder, vermiculite, these gypsum, peat, sodium, alginate or calcium chloride. So these are the inorganic uh, carriers which are used to prepare the uh, bioformulations, uh, carrier based bioformulation of these uh, different uh, biocontrol agents. So there is a uh, uh, the different uh, uh, methods to pro uh, produce the biocontrol agents like there is solid state fermentation and liquid state fermentation. So uh, these fermentation processes are sometimes uh, also uh, used when we want to uh, mass, uh, we want to production of mass uh, production in the laboratory condition of these biocontrol agents. And these are the list of different uh, uh, nutrient media or different substrate which is used to prepare the different formulations of these biocontrol agents. So next, there is a positive and negative aspects of biocontrol agents. So, uh, in the positive aspects, the, the, there are, the, this is a list of the, what are the positive uh, aspects of these biocontrol agents, like they are eco-friendly and they are non-toxic to the plants, they, they have no side effect on the environment as well as plants, they are uh, cheaper uh, in their rate or they are uh, low cost uh, uh, as compared to chemical fertilizers. So there are some uh, also some limitations on these biocontrol agents, like they are, uh, it, it, there is a uh, requirement of some expert person when we are uh, handling these biocontrol agents or uh, there is uh, uh, they are, uh, their uh, uh, action or mechanism of their uh, activities sometimes slow. The need of these bio, uh, biocontrol agents in the India, so as the population of India is growing uh, day by day, so in uh, the year 2020 there is need of uh, the uh, uh, grain uh, to 250 million tons required uh, as the uh, growing population is there. So uh, there is a huge amount of uh, chemical fertilizer is uh, uh, already used in the uh, field uh, or agriculture uh, system. So it need to uh, replace these chemical fertilizer with uh, these biocontrol agents because these biocontrol agents are eco-friendly 
and they don't cause any harmful effect on the uh, crops or soil. So, the, uh, what are the future prospects uh, of these biocontrol agents? So, these biocontrol agents, uh, first of all, uh, the farmers of uh, country, first of all, they are aware about the uh, uh, biocontrol uh, agents. So, what are biocontrol agents? So, first of all, there is uh, there. There will be a seminar uh, on the uh, panchayat level or village level or uh, on the university level. So first of all, we, we have to aware uh, first the farmers of our country. So after that, they are uh, when they are uh, aware, so then uh, they are uh, able to use these biofertilizers in their uh, field. So conclusion, the, as uh, we already discussed, these biocontrol agents are the uh, uh, plant growth uh, plant growth promoters and they have no side effect on the soil or environment so they are also enhance the growth of uh, the uh, different crops so they uh, are uh, able to control the different uh, uh, activities or different uh, pathogens into the uh, plant so these biocontrol agents is a new technique in today's era so these uh, biocontrol agents uh, i think the, the, these have to follow in the agriculture system of india so due to the, uh, the use of these biocontrol agents in, in the um, agriculture system, I think uh, it is uh, a good uh, alternate of the chemical fertilizers. So thank you.